everybody what's going on just back with another video here so we got um a video from pierre polyev i just wanted to react to it's called does this sound like common sense to you and he's referring to the capital gains tax uh now just before we get into this video if you don't mind to please like and subscribe it really helps grow the channel as well as leave your comments in the comment section as well as i do enjoy uh, engaging with you guys so let's uh take a minute to watch this video and then we'll uh, talk about it after like usual What are your thoughts on the new capital gains tax? It's terrible. It's terrible. It's, uh, it's going to drive money and investment out of Canada. It will mean lower wages for Canadians. Um, it will mean, uh, you know, it's a, it's a, it'll make America great again. Because all our money is going to leave Canada and build stuff down there. I mean, look, if you've got money to invest, and you've got a 66% capital gains tax in Canada, and it's maybe a third in the U.S., where are you going to build your next big project and hire, hire a thousand workers? It's not going to be here. And for the first 14 years of this century, from 2000, 2014, Canada was getting more investment from the states than the reverse. Since 2015, there's been $450 billion Canadian more Canadian dollars going south in investment than coming coming back. What does that mean? It means Canadian money is digging quarries, mines, building pipelines, business centers, office towers, and other things that pay wages to American workers. So you know this idea, this spiteful idea that we're going to attack invest investors and it's going to it's going to make us better off somehow is uh, backwards. I want to bring that money home to Canada. I don't want to create jobs in the United States of America. I want to create jobs for our workers. So I will be, be high, assigning a task force uh, to reform our tax system to make it simpler, fairer, and lower. Simpler, 20% less in compliance and paperwork. Fairer, I will cut off taxpayer-funded handouts to multinational corporations who ultimately take the money out of our country and use that to cut taxes for working class people. And lower, I will lower taxes on work, investment, and making stuff in Canada so we can bring home paychecks and production to this country. Thank you. So first off, <clears throat> for those of you who aren't aware of the capital gains tax, what it is, is basically anything that you make, any penny that you make over $250,000 will get taxed at a much higher rate. Now, like Pierre Polyev said, it's a huge problem because these projects that cost lots of money and make lots of money are going to be good. Going to, they're going to be built in the United States. They're not going to come and build houses and office buildings here. They're going to build them in the States because it's much cheaper. It's way harder to make a good profit up here. So they're not going to come do it. And that's the problem with these taxes and these socialist, these supporters of socialism and Marxism is that if you take away all the taxes from the, the, the people who make a lot of money and who provide jobs, they're not going to be here anymore. They're going to leave. They're just they're just not going to stay here. So it, it's a it's a very bad idea to do that. Apparently, the liberals need to be in the NDP need to be told that I'm not sure exactly why, but the capital gains tax doesn't work, especially when you consider right, because a lot of people will say, well, you know, but $250,000, that's a lot of money to make. It's not nearly what it used to be. You can't even get a house in Southern Ontario for that anymore or at least not in the GTA. You can't even get a startup. You can't even get a fixer upper for that price anymore. So at $250,000 doesn't really go as far as it used to. It used to be a lot of money. You could buy a pretty nice house, especially here in Hamilton, for less than that. You could buy a decent house for like 150 15 years ago. Maybe not in a great area, but it's a nice house. And if you wanted to upgrade on the area, you could just move up to the mountain, get a place for a couple hundred grand. Maybe 250 and you're going to get something pretty good. Now, it gets you not very much. So really what they're going to do is anyone who has a, like a net worth, like let's say you have a house and it's worth, you know, $500,000, but you bought it, you know, 15 years ago for $200,000. You're now going to get taxed way more when you sell it. And it's, you know, these people aren't rich. Like these are middle class families who are also going to feel the burn here. They came out saying, well, you know, we're here to, this is going to hurt the rich people and we're for Canadians. It's not going to, taxing the rich it never hurts the rich because they have the power to leave if they want. And then we're stuck with the bill. 
it, this this nonsense does not work and people who believe in these huge taxes and big government they really need to give their heads a shake it just doesn't work but let me know what you guys think in the in the comment section what you guys think about the tax capital gains tax also just wanted to I, I bet the liberals in their next ad they're gonna play that make America great again over and over and over just to convince people that he's somehow like Donald Trump I don't think it's going to work. It's just going to be kind of funny to see, but that's my prediction. I think they're going to do that very soon. Uh, but again, let me know what you think in the comment section, and please don't forget to like and subscribe as it really does help grow this channel. Thanks again so much for watching, guys, and I'll be back shortly with a new video.